fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair your league. So, uh, Dierra put out a video slash vlog slash um, uh, Q&A, and you know, it's something specific that I want to react to in this video, so let's get to it. You know, sometimes I get in my head about, you know, what's next and change and all of that but i feel like you're not gonna be able to really get to the place that you're gonna be just being comfortable and i feel like i get comfortable in situations and i get comfortable in places and as soon as i do that god let me know like you can't get too comfortable don't get too comfortable so that's just where i'm at with it and that's like the main reason where i'm at right now with my whole me you know pretty much coming to the realization and me thinking on it and me sitting long and hard and just telling myself like are you ready and me realizing that you are ready like it. she's talking about moving it is time it is time for the next level and you're not going to get to the next level of being comfortable so i hope that answers the question but a lot of people ask me have i moved to la yet and another thing too that i really want to touch on is listen y'all my number one thing that i do not play about is my safety and hello number thing i do not play about is like my space like my per hello personal space like when i'm out in public and you guys see me like baby hey give me a hug i love y'all so much but one thing i don't play about is my safety and my hello home and my family and all of that so when people ask me like have i moved to la like it's something that i can let y'all know like yeah this is what i'm doing but like i'm not even the type of person that do that anyways like i tell you guys when things happen after the fact i'm just moving like i'm moving and i don't want nobody to know what's my next move so you guys ask me have i moved to la i don't know but one thing i do know is that i'm buying a property so let me touch on to that because a lot of people ask me have i found a place or have i moved yet so the answer to that question no i haven't 100 percent moved yet but i I am in the process of buying a place, which I feel like I found a place. And to touch on that too, because a lot of people like, you ain't never getting us a house tour again. And yes, you are correct. I'm never ever moving on, moving forward when it comes to YouTube and all that. I'm never doing house tours. I'm never documenting. And me neither. But um, just, I want to touch on that. You know, we haven't spoken about that whole situation since that happened or whatever, you know, the elephant in the room. <laughs> and um i don't blame her you know people took that as a light thing like oh my god people copy out people's stuff like duh <laughs> people do copy out people's stuff but niggas don't move right beside you that's just not what niggas do like it's a such thing to like what you have to like your lifestyle to like the chicken wings that you like girl duh but people really did not get the point and i don't play about my place of stay so if you come move beside me and I done showed you where I lived and da da da, yeah, that's a problem. Because it seems as though you have an ulterior motive and you may look at that shit like, fuck, I don't. Because you're not even that type of person. I don't know you. I mean, I don't know you to not be that type of person. I don't know you at all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so with that being said, it's nothing wrong with liking Anything that a person wears, it's nothing wrong with the nails. It's not, it's nothing wrong with admiring things, but damn, you got to get my furniture. Damn, you also got to move in my community. Uh-uh. I mean, in my full place, like, I'm never doing that again. Because, like I said, my number one priority is my safety and where I live. And I don't play about where I stay. You know what I'm saying? Where I lay my head. And sure. where I feel like I'm at home and I'm supposed to be comfortable. I'm not supposed to be on edge. I'm not supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Nah. And that's number one. So, yes, For guys, sure. I'm sorry. I'm never doing a house tour again. It's not happening. And where I'm moving or where I've looked at, you know, I'm not going to pretty much say. I'm not going to see the finishes. Y'all not going to see. Y'all already don't see, you know, too much when it comes to, like, where I live and stuff. Like, I've done house tours before. With, but I'm not doing no more house tours, child. Y'all will see the inside of my house because it's obviously the, where I would be vlogging and stuff like that, but it's not going to be any more full house tours. Y'all will see when I'm decorating my place, when I'm doing different renovations because mm -hmm. I am because the first thing I'm doing when I close and when I go into contract and I actually close will be building my freaking upstairs, downstairs closet. So, Fair. yes, y'all, I have found a place and like I mentioned, I got my pre-approval and that was kind of like the time for me to go out and look at these different places and really see what it is I like and what I 
I don't like. And I feel like I looked at about four or five different places and some I didn't even show. But the one that I love and I'm going with, it is so nice, it is so beautiful. Like I can give y'all the specs of it, but like I can put an elevator. I'm gonna get my upstairs, downstairs closet. It's Period. very open, there's a lot of light. It's the elevator, honey. Light, which I love because I need, I need a lot of natural light. Like I don't like filming in places where it's not natural light. Like I don't like lights on because it gets that yellow tint and I just like everything to be real. I hate yellow light. Ooh, I hate it. Nice and natural. It's just a lot of space, a lot of storage, which I need because I feel like I'm outgrowing where I live now. So we'll get into that as well. Okay, because like I mentioned, like what I what my plan what my original plan was, you know, I was thinking about oh being by coastal, which you know, Atlanta, LA, and not just doing a full move to LA because my main thing was LA is somewhere I want to live for about two years. Two, three, one year. Like I don't want to like I know for a fact LA is somewhere I want to live forever. So my whole thing was I don't want to have to pick up up and move all my furniture days away, which that's how long it would take to pretty much move all your stuff to LA. Like LA is about a day drive when you're driving from Atlanta, Georgia. To have my stuff, I'm gonna be driving. So I was just like, I don't wanna have to get up. Girl, and no, we won't be. Girl, nah, Dierra got, Dierra got fly my shit in money. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, can y'all take all that, fly it in? Yeah, she got fly my shit, my shit in money. But not... <laughs> Not her flying it in, uh, re realistically, somebody would drive it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Move all my stuff Somebody to else another drive city it. that I plan on being or that I only want to be there for a short period of time just to experience it. Like, I'm always out in LA. Like, and even when I live, th live there and then when I move back and I'll do all of that, I'm still going to be going to LA. So it just makes sense for me, like not having to pick up all my stuff, you know, move it mm -hmm. all in LA. And I was looking at different places and it was places that I was interested in far as like places fully furnished and all of that. So that's just kind of where I was at with it. And when it comes to the place that I'm staying now. My original plan was to buy the townhome that I'm in and then rent it out and then go to LA. But I was like, mm, I don't even want to buy this place no more. I don't want to, I'm not interested in buying it anymore. So I was just like, you know, go back on the market. You know, look around. Sure. I got a realtor. She helped me find a place. She sent me over so many nice places, y'all. And I was just like, you know, because oh, so one, it's well. a different, it's a lot of things that go into find a place. And that's I was lit. just like, one of the things that I want in a place that I'm buying is a waterfall out. So that's number one and just like a big more open space and it's just like everything that I can get when it comes to buying uh, Alexa Alexa What is a waterfall island? Oh, I I'm not getting it. I don't know what it is. If I do get it, it was inspired by the era. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I swear to God, you said something. <laughs> buying a property, I would want all that. And oh then, you know, I'm, so I spoke to my cousin and stuff like that, who always steers me Ooh. in the right direction. And she just like, oh make God. sure at the end of the day that you know that this isn't your fair home. And that's the thing that I had to realize, cause your girl, like, I'm like, I want this, 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 and this, and that. And it doesn't have to be that way. And also too, like if I'm purchasing a place, I can go in and change things whenever I want because I own it, which is a good thing. And me not having to pretty much go in and be like, this is all the things that I want. And me not being set on it. Because like I said, it's not gonna be my forever home. I'm investing in property. That's where I'm at right now. Like it's time for me to do that. That's just where, where I feel like. And I was just like, you know what, you're right. And then when it comes to everything else in a home, like an actual home, I can build it if that's the case. When the time comes for me to actually buy an actual my forever home. So yes, guys, I guess that's pretty much like the update when it comes to me moving and everything. But that's where I'm at with it. I was thinking about it considering buying because I've already was in the market of and I've already in my head that you know what, I'm it's time for me to purchase a place and I was thinking about purchasing where I live now because I do rent but they did offer to sell it to me so I thought about that too but I just thought like you know Mm -mm. I can mm. go look around somewhere else and uh -uh. find something better that I actually, you know, would be cool with purchasing. Like, you, you know, like rent is different. But like when your money is going to somewhere, you actually buying a place, you know. And like I said, my number one top priority is my safety. And so when it comes to like me buying a property and all of that, I want to make sure like all those boxes are crossed off. So gated, check, number one, security, check, number two, like all those things. So I mean, that's pretty much the updates 
and you know i'm just where i'm at just like at the end of the day y'all where i'm at and where i'm headed it just has too much value and i feel like this is important like this is important y'all please there. please 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 know like when you get to a point in life that you want to buy property and you want to do all those different things make sure your boxes are checked you crossing off every single thing and also make sure like because this is where i'm at with y'all nobody will ever be able to find where i live because hello <laughs> yeah we working on that now everything that i'm purchasing and that i'm owning from here on now when it comes to a car when it comes to a freaking house when it comes to a town home when it comes to anything that i'm purchasing out of my pocket out of my money out of my dime out of my pocketbook nobody's gonna know because it's gonna go under my trust so please y'all this is advice for you know upcoming entrepreneurs and yeah, people too, who are interested in starting their own business and stuff like that please have a trust and when it comes to buying things put it under your trust so that it's no trace of coming back to who you are you see what i'm saying noted like nobody will ever be able to find where i live because it's not going to be in my name it's not going to be anything anybody will ever know so yes y'all i'm super excited for this new journey <laughs> so yes y'all that's pretty much where that's what's up um Hold on, y'all. Two, two, two seconds. Okay, bye. Yeah, y'all. Um, so you know, people, people have their own way of thinking, but people gotta realize, like, nigga, I don't play by my roof. You know what I'm saying? I may play about a lot of things, but baby. And certain things is acceptable. Shit, you will copy a nail. You will copy a whatever. Uh, moving in the same complex or the same townhouse or the same a bit much. So, yeah, I feel on that. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, would you do the same? You know what I'm saying? Would you move or would you have stayed? All right. Bye now.